Hey, everybody, what's going on? What's hot? What's hip? What's happening? What's shaking? What's going on? Uh, you know, I'm just banning this guy. My, my, uh, you know, when I get distracted because, uh, now I'll put him in timeout. That's better. When you have to tell somebody three or four times, hey, it ain't your show. Don't divulge the whole show in the opening. And it's like the third or fourth time. Maybe you need to be somewhere else. Uh, Maybe there's somewhere else you could be. Certainly there's a variety of shows that are running at the exact same time this one does. Because, you know, why would anybody give me a heads up on that? But uh, just kind of tick me off for the 9,000th time. You know, I do a bunch of work and I uh, pull photos together and some guy that never once tipped me, never once did anything, wants to come in and blurt out the whole show. Uh, I got no time for that. I ain't got no time for that. Uh, Let's see here. What do we got? Uh, I'm wondering why some I'm wondering why some people are here, to be honest with you tonight, but. Anyway, uh, no audio, no audio. I fixed that. Uh, who? Well, I, I can give you a hint. You won't see him posting here in the next three to six minutes. <laughs> uh, Toby McGroby says, hi. Hey, go to the TomGullyShow.com where there's 270 podcasts there for free. Or you can go to our merch page and buy things if you want stuff with the logo on them. Uh, there's paypal.me slash Tom Gully show, which you of course will take absolutely no notice of whatsoever because nobody's donated in ages and ages and ages. And, uh, then there's the Patreon. So do what you want. Hey, Hey, says Diane O'Brien. The chef is in the house. Ronald Bateman says, Hey guys. Hello. Stone green host. I am. Uh, SG says we're here because the show is better than the rest. Hey, SG, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I also appreciate you not just blurting out everything that's going to be on the show in the open of the show. During the opening. Not while I'm telling about stuff. Not while I'm taking phone call. No, in the opening. Jerk. Mm. Toby says, sorry, you didn't do anything. This is a Lani New energy drink. I just started trying it, and it's really, really good. Really, really good. Sorry, I'm I'm not in a great mood tonight, folks. I am going to tell you about the most dangerous toys of all time, but... Some of you may be aware why I'm not in a good mood. I'm not really going to talk about it, but just not. Just not. I swore I wasn't. I tend to uh, get uh, cranky about something, and I have to think about it, and I haven't thought about it before I talk about it. Sorry, Tom. Uh, You don't have to be sorry. Uh, So, But I am going to tell you about the most dangerous... uh, Dangerous stuff of uh, all time. Let's see here. Uh, she says, I wouldn't blame you. Uh, such a party pooper. No need. Hey, Tom. And that's not the only thing that's going on tonight. Some of you already know. And it's just this second time in a week. Kind of involving the same person. Intentionally or unintentionally. On both incidences. And it's, hey, give me a heads up. I've proven I'll move things around. But when it's just like, hey, well, sucks to be you. That ain't respect. Certainly not mutual respect. But that's all in the rearview mirror. Uh, Video finally killed the radio star. It kind of did. Yeah, a long time ago. Because I always wanted to just do this as a radio show. And everybody was like, no, we have to have video. We have to have video. I'm like, okay, if you got to have video. Uh, SG says, a little loyalty goes a long way. You know what, SG? You know what, SG? Uh, you got that right. You got that right. Peter Lake with his, uh, I don't know what those are called. I know there's a name for them. Positive Patriot says, do you need them taken care of? Wink, wink. Yeah, I got a guy in Florida. He's in a motorcycle club. 
Uh, Ronald Bateman says, just send some support for the show. It's not much, but I hope we can get you a new koozie. Thank you, Ronald. I appreciate that. There you go. Now, see, I'm good for another two months with no donation. It's just a little vote of confidence. By the way, Legos behind me, they are not one of the most dangerous toys unless you consider anything that has a choking hazard one of the most dangerous, but that's too big of a list to include everything. But I think we can all agree they're the most painful toy in the dark at three in the morning when you're walking through somewhere, right? I think we can all agree on that. I really do. And to the more than 25 people in here, just like to say, um, YouTube. YouTube is the preferred way to watch the Tom Gully show. It's the preferred way. You can watch it other ways, but we're marching toward monetization. So, uh, Foot arch destruction. Well, potentially, you know, tendons severed and everything else. I guess I better get my thing out. I've waited long enough for people to get here. Let me get my thing out, and we can start talking about some of these uh, uh, toys, some of these most dangerous toys of all time. Here we go. Banned kids toys. These are banned. These aren't just dangerous. They've been banned. All these have been banned. Uh, let's see. Here. No need for a whole. Oh, wait. I have. I still have uh, indentations of Legos on my feet. Yeah. You can actually build a Lego with the indentation. Uh, Randy says, uh, no need for a hole. I have to access a meat grinder. Must be at work. God, I hope you're at work. <laughs> For the love of all that's holy, I hope you're at work. Good people outweigh the fools. They do in number. I'm not certain that they do in effort or annoyance. In fact, I'm sure they don't in annoyance. I'm positive of that. I am so positive of that. Let me start telling you about these. Uh, man, these things are so dangerous. And the first one here, I had never heard of. A lot of these are old. These, ladies and gentlemen, are called aqua dots. I'd never heard of them before. And you can arrange these little beads that you see in that holder. You arrange them, and you spray them with water, and the design solidifies and fuses together so you can make sort of three-dimensional designs. That sounds pretty fun, doesn't it? Well, the problem with this 2007 toy was that the coating of the aqua dots released the compound GHB, which is known as the date rape drug, when ingested. So... After three children went into comas, after swallowing the pieces, the Consumer Product Safety Commission recalled a, f a few of the kits. And when I say few, I mean 4.2 million kits, they recalled. Now, this next one is my most favorite one of this whole list. That somebody, of course, had to blat, blurt out before I, in the opening of the show, not when I said, I'm going to tell you about the most dangerous toys about them, and then blurt it out. No, 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 none of that. Just boom, right? First entered the room and just, hey, everybody, look how smart I am. <sighs> you know, sometimes, you know, what you see before you, ladies and gentlemen, is... Whoa, whoa, hold on. There. What you see before you, ladies and gentlemen, was a little something called the Atomic Laboratory Kit. And uh, science-based toys are always great, right? Parents love those. But this one probably... It came out in the 50s and 60s. It, it, it probably wouldn't pass muster anymore. Um, this is from the people that 
created the Erector set, by the way, which I think is the most boring of all toys. Um, well, this thing actually contained four different types of uranium ore, which is kind of, uh, what's the word we're looking for there? It's radioactive. So, yeah, that's not quite that great. Barbie and Tanner is one of the many ones that um, Barbie was, of course, Barbie, and Tanner was the dog. And Tanner the pup could eat and dispose of food, but the magnet inside the scooper accessory could come loose. And if a toddler decides to swallow more than one magnet, then physics intestinal blockage there's a lot of toys and i may skip over some of them because i got a lot of toys to go through here that are really dangerous um that magnets cause problems in these uh another toy uh that uh had problems with it was bucky balls and the, this is another magnet thing um the magnets the rare earth magnets, 125 of them, were super strong. And so after you swallow one of these, it, it just magnets inside the body of a child is not a good thing. Now, this next one, many people know about, many people know about. And the reason that they're dangerous isn't the reason that you think. Now, I don't know about you guys, but these are clackers. And those are the smallest set of clackers I've ever seen in my life. The ones that we use seem like they were baseball size. Those don't look, look that big. Now, you're probably thinking that clackers were dangerous because of when they got out of control, they'd hit you in the head or, or someone nearby. I mean, I, you, could, you could lay yourself out with a clacker. I mean, it, painful. Uh, but the real reason... They came out in the 70s, and the reason that they were taken off the market about a decade later was that these balls were made of acrylic, and they would often shatter. I mean, completely shatter when in use, and the shards could fly into your face or into your eyes or just onto the ground to be, you know, laying in wait while you cut yourself wide open on them. I would have thought it was the major head and face and body contusions caused by out of control clackers, but no, it's the shattering. All right. This next one, man, oh man, I wish I had a dime for every lousy pie or cake that I had to eat out of an easy bake oven. All the little girls my age had them and you had to eat that stuff and it's not the most tasty. Uh, Hasbro had to recall the Easy Bake Ovens not once, but twice after several children burned their fingers after getting caught inside the Easy Bake Oven. The, the Easy Bake Ovens in the later years, in order to make them ostensibly safer, if you look at the ones on screen right now, the ones on screen had big, giant oven openings, right? Well, in order to make them what they thought was safer, they created a very little opening and then a little thing that slid in. It was just big enough to make the pie or the cake or whatever. And so because it was smaller, if they couldn't get it out, they would put their hands in to get it out and they would burn their fingers very badly. One girl, because they would get caught inside of it, one girl even had part of her finger amputated, according to CBS. The uh, company has since released a newer version with an electric heating element instead of a light bulb because the old ones cooked the food with a light bulb, a really hot light bulb. So uh, there you go. Easy bake oven. Fidget spinners, if you remember about, uh, I guess it was seven or eight years ago, fidget spinners were the biggest things, but um, the big thing about them was the metal parts on the inside uh, contained little tiny, those little tiny wheels 
uh, and the, those were a choking hazard. I'm going to overlook most of the choking hazards from here on in, or we'll be here all day. Hoverboards. Anybody remember back in 2015 when uh, the hoverboards were the big deal? Well, hoverboards, the brand, uh, well, those battery-powered devices tended to burst into flame when they were left charging too long. Um, a three-year-old even died after a faulty board sparked and started a house fire in Pennsylvania. So hoverboards, yeah. I think this next one may be the favorite. Not my favorite, but it's everybody else's favorite. Won't take you long when you see the photo. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is the metal-tipped yard charts, also known as lawn darts, weighted spikes flying through the air. Uh, it wasn't until 1970 that the Consumer Product Safety Commission said, these are kind of eminent danger. Uh, and they banned the jarts for the first time before reaching a deal with manufacturers to avoid selling them as toys. Even then, 6,000 kids went to the hospital in the 70s and 80s with related injuries, including fatalities. One especially bad one. A kid threw one over the fence into a neighbor's yard not knowing the sister of the boy that he was playing with was over there right through the noggin. Uh, yeah. They banned them for good and they urge, uh, in 1988, and they urge consumers to destroy any remaining lawn jarts. Uh, mini hammocks. A lot of people had these little mini hammocks, but uh, they were recalled after 3 million mini hammocks in 1996 were you know, recalled when there were the deaths of 12 children, the lack of spreader bars enabled the net to twist around a kid's neck while getting in or, or out of the mini hammock. So, um, yeah. I'm skipping over a whole bunch here because they're just magnets and choking hazards uh rollerblade barbie now this is the second time barbie who that movie has told us is just perfect in all ways well guess what rollerblade barbie from the 90s created quite a firestorm literally there was like a cigarette lighter type device in her whoops just the spark part. There, spark, spark. Do I have another? I thought I had a spent one. A spark part. You know, the part that just sparks. I can't make it do it without lighting because this is too good of a light. Just the spark. Just the. Anyway, there was one of those in her skate, and it would legitimately shoot sparks out when rolled across a flat surface. So if you roll that over anything flammable, Kaboom. So if you're in dad's garage, if you're out near a grill, if you're, if you're near anything flammable, kaboom. They recalled them. Uh, sky dancers. Now, these were a little flying fairies that you, you twisted up and then shot them in the air, and they spun into the air and also into people's faces. Uh, after 150 reports of eye injuries, scratched corneas, broken teeth, facial, las uh, facial lacerations, uh, Galoob toys grounded them for good. Guess how many they had to recall? These recalls are no joke. 8.9 million. All right, now this next one. This next one is kind of interesting because of the... Of, of, the reason that it was recalled it wasn't about the kids. It wasn't about the kids. Now, these are slip and slides, and many of us have used a slip and slide. Well, and I might tell you another little origin story about the slip and slide later because I have a whole bunch of information about all this stuff, and some of it we'll return to. But 
The Consumer Product Safety Commission has from time to time said, kids, don't use backyard water slides. You know, don't, don't do that. Uh, but because of the added height and weight, and we all know dad especially loves to show the kids how it's done on a slip and slide. Well, teens and grown-ups might slide and stop suddenly enough to cause permanent spinal injury. And you think I'm joking, but this has actually happened more than you'd think. Whammo recalled 9 million slides in 1999 after seven adults and one teen suffered neck injuries or paralysis. So, you know, it wasn't the kids, they were protecting the adults, the doofusy adults. Uh, snack time cabbage patch dolls. For those of you who don't remember the snack time cabbage patch doll, you could feed that doll plastic carrots and French fries, but the doll had these really strong little metal things. And because they were, um, you know, crinkle fries, the jaw would come down and just sort of force the top of each bite to push it further and further and the powerful mechanical jaws would chomp down on fingers too ultimately mattel offered a 40 dollars refund to half a million owners or victims of there there's a little thing is a toy crossbows but but they're mostly popular in china however the toy crossbows they sell over there, like a toothpick could pierce a can from 60 feet away. I'm thinking that's too powerful. Nerf even got called out on its Zerf, not, not, Nerf zombie strike deadbolt crossbow in 2017. So toy guns. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The two most famous toy gun examples are the Austin Magic Pistol and Mattel's belt buckle Derringer. Mm. That's so good. The Austin Magic Pistol used magic crystals to launch ping pong balls. The magic crystals were made of calcium carbide, which meant if any water got in there, it would explode. <laughs> uh, and for the, the Mattel's belt buckle Derringer, that was a gun you wore on your belt. Didn't come off of your belt. And it was a really powerful cap gun. So you could imagine the little explosions that would go off on your you know, kid's hands or they weren't wearing a shirt or something. And the gun got very hot as well. Um, okay, where's where's my next group of stuff? Because there's we're not done yet by a long shot. There's some there's some older I, I like the old dangerous toys because they're legitimately dangerous. Um yeah, the lawn charts uh Boy and some neighborhood friends took the darts to the backyard to play, and it wasn't long before an overzealous throw launched one of the mini missiles over the fence. The dart came down directly onto the skull of the boy's seven-year-old sister who had been playing in the front yard with her dolls, and uh, she collapsed soon after and died three days later. Some researchers estimated that the dart hit her with a force of 23,000 pounds per square inch. Well, yeah. And after that, her father launched a crusade against lawn darts. So um, that's when all that fun came to a halt. Um, during the summer of, this is a slip and slide, during the summer of 1960, Robert Carrier returned home from work to find that his son and some friends had turned the hose on their painted concrete driveway, creating a rudimentary water slide on the slope surface. Convinced they were going to hurt themselves on the concrete, Carrier soon constructed a similar setup out of some vinyl-coated bolt upholstery, boat upholstery, excuse me, and uh, sewed a tube down the side for a hose. 
sold it to Whammo in 1961. By September, more than 300,000 had been sold. Soon the injuries started rolling in, and it wasn't just kids. And we, uh, we talked about that a little bit. But this is one right here. This went on into the 40s and I believe the 50s, and that is lead-painted toys. And back in the Victorian ages of the 1850s, you know, kids in England and Wales had about a 25% chance of dying before they reached the age of five anyway. Cholera, you know, whatever. But toys coated in lead was something that was going on. Um, to make matters even worse, the toys back then were often made entirely of lead and just to let you in on something we've known that lead is bad for a long the ancient romans knew that lead is bad uh but toy manufacturers continued using it because many people thought uh as long as the levels of lead were low daily exposure is relatively safe well we all, we now know that's silly Uh, we don't have numbers on how many kids died from ingesting lead from a toxic toy. But we do know it can still happen in modern times. In 2006, a four-year-old boy from Minneapolis died of poisoning after putting a lead-laced trinket in his mouth. It is illegal for toys to contain more than 0.06% concentration of lead by weight in their paints or coatings, and it hasn't been since 1978, but that doesn't mean toys with higher concentrations aren't out there. In 2007, Mattel's Fisher-Price recalled 1.5 million toys after the Consumer Product Safety Commission allegedly uh, said the company had imported and sold toys that tested for high levels of lead, in some cases 180 times higher than the legal limit. Oh, come on. All right, I'm done. I'm done with the toys. My page just crashed. And I guess we'll open the phone lines here. I so shouldn't have done a show today. I'm telling you. Um, let's see here. A little loyalty goes a long way, doesn't it, though? Doesn't it, though? Yeah, the fools are more active. Let's let's get the let's get dad off the screen there. Hey, before uh, we go through all these chats, TomGullyShow.com, 270 podcasts. They're all there for free because I don't get paid anything to do this and I never will. Uh, you can also go to the merch page there, which uh, I guess somebody bought a clock there. There's a picture of the clock. It's a bunch of stuff there, but you don't have to buy any of it. Uh, PayPal.me slash TomGullyShow. Nobody's donated in months, so that's just kind of there for show. Uh, and then the Patreon. So, yeah. Just kind of going, uh, why even do a show? Uh, oh, my God, terrible. Let's see here. Akamugan says, playtime, nap time, it's a bird. <laughs> it's, a, it's a blurred line. Uh, the Cosby Aquadots. Oh, the Aquadots, yeah. Yeah, they had GHB in them. Uh, I want that lab kit. Radiation fascinated me, fascinated me as a kid, and it still does, says Akumugan. Well, they outlawed them in the 50s or 60s, but maybe you could still find one. Hmm. Incidentally, they still make that kit. It just doesn't have the four kinds of uranium in it anymore. So he says, that was a thing. It was a thing. Terry Nee says, I loved clackers. Clackers were great. You were the king of the world. And you got them going real fast. And then they would get all out of combunction. And, and I just hated getting in the head with those. Uh, I never saw one shatter. But apparently after they got older, they would shatter. And people would have shards in their eyes and stuff. By the way, our phone lines are open at 972-994-6822 if you'd like to call in. 
Jokerfish says Clacker should have come with safety go. They should have come with, you're right, Joker, but they, they should have come with like headgear. They should have come with a football helmet. Um, SG says, hey, Terry. How you doing, Terry? Uh, Gilman says it was just a light bulb. Yeah, those easy bake ovens. It was just a light bulb in there. And the stuff that was in there, it was kind of like the dough that you get in a Chef Boyardi pizza. I mean, it was just, you know, the 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 guy's sister, whoever you knew in the neighborhood that was making something, you just make a big production out of it. You know, me had a little table and chair and everything else. And you'd get it and you'd be like, do you have like nine bottles of soda so I can get this dry, tasteless, awful? Well, sometimes... It, sometimes uh, they had frosting, but I think they ran out of frosting pretty quick. Uh, easy bake mouse trap. It's what it was like. If you look at the new versions, the old versions had a big oven, a big drawer. The new versions have a slot. I can see where that may not be as, as safe. Uh, Jared's here, says H2BH. Happy to be here myself, Jared. Hey, and you tell your buddy, if he wants to come on this show and talk about something, since he's, you know, lily ponding, I'll let him come on here. Man, I've noticed all of his postings lately. I've been watching all of them uh, regarding how YouTube behaves, or at least has behaved towards him. So, uh, you know, I hope I hope he gets things up and going again. Because I'll tell you this. I have some super awesome followers from TSN that are here and they're here every day. But most of the people that are actual followers that are actual, you know, Facebook uh, followers are from a group of a, a cult of people that swore to have my, you know, <laughs> they swore a blood oath against me. And we've since made peace. And, and so they're responsible for the, the spike in my, my uh, YouTube followers. But probably most of my, well, but the people that are here in this chat room, by and large, are from, from TSN. Uh, hoverboards, proof of why EVs are a terrible idea. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but Gilman says, I still love fidget spinners, very relaxing. There is something satisfying about a fidget spinner. Lawn darts. Yeah, that's the favorite. Uh, SG says, I knew lawn darts had to be on the list. Uh, Terry Nee says, I have a set of jarts. Yeah, we called them jarts too. Uh, they were good fun, bit hard to find now. Oh, you got to make your own now. Uh, they took them off the market and they want you to destroy them. Now they still have them. But they're just, they're a big weighted ball. They're just a big weighted heavy ball. Um, Gilman says, we throw them straight up in the air and play chicken. Yeah, that was awesome. What were we doing? We did have a kid in our neighborhood that we, uh, the uh, game was, remember the big round circle that was actually uh, straight pieces of plastic that you bent and they connected to each other, make a circle? To target so you put that on the ground and then you have to stand behind it right behind it okay and one of the kids in our neighborhood got one through the top of his foot because he didn't move he was trying to be the brave guy joker fish says that barbie is a troublemaker yes yeah, she is terry knee says our playground equipment at school was deadly terry i'm with you I i'm pretty sure at our school they sharpened it all at night um, rolling flint. Yes, Aku. That that Barbie rollerblade Barbie had a rolling flint in it. Um, the flint sparks. Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't know clackers were banned. I thought they just fell out of favor because how annoying they were. <clears throat> I don't know, Julian. Uh, they they just would pop you in the head. You have a big knot on your head. And... Clackers. Yeah, I was playing clackers. Uh, Gilman says the best put soap on it. Toby McGroby says slip and slides always seem to attract absent-minded idiots. 
who stop and stand on the slide. Yeah. Stacy Allen says, just got here. Did Gully get to lawn darts yet? Yes, we did. I'm sorry. You just missed it. You, you could back it up if you want. Just back it up. Back it up. You better back it up. You better back it up. You guys ever seen that video? The woman that gets tased in like the, look like a CVS or something. She's causing a commotion in the security guard. She's like hitting him, spitting at him. And, doing, and he just keeps walking to her, walking towards her going, you better back it up. You better back it up. And then the second she gets out of the place, he tases her and she planks backwards completely. Um, planked. Nice. Gruesome. How long were the tips of the yard yards? Well, I, in my opinion, these are short, but I don't have anything there for scale. But I recall the tips being two, two and a half, three inches long. Terry Knee, would you go along with me on that? Just depends on how big they are. NAZ says, we had a wearer wiggle in the 60s. Somehow the hose twisted around my older sister's neck. I was about five. I knew enough to run off and turn the hose off. I, I am going to show you here some, some other stuff. I got ticked off because my web page wasn't acting right. And it vexated my spirit. Lead toys. Atomic Lab. Where's the where's the one with the creepy crawlers in it? I'll tell you what. Mental floss. You just don't even go to that site. It's not worth it. Uh, hey, my good friend Bog is here. Bog is quite a guy. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool, dude. Germany and France. He lives on the French border close to Germany. Hugh says, my dad had a real belt buckle derringer, but wouldn't let me have the toy. I never forgave him for that. Well, you probably don't have scars on your waist and side from that. Got to get those watch hours up. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. I'm going to get constantly programmed against by my friends. So that'll never happen. Two times out of three days in one week. I don't know. Julian Zeezer says, I grew up in the city. We never had a slip and slide. People used to open the hydrants in the summer. We'd literally get blown across the street by the force of water. Um, Jokerfish says, exactly. Dim the phone. Let it play. <laughs> Stacy says, I thought this was about the band Dangerous Toys. No, I... It's most dangerous toys of all time. Most dangerous toys of all time. So different. Let them know, Tom. Thank you, Jared. I will let them know. Jared, if anybody has my back, I know it's you. I can't believe I almost missed the show. Hey, oh, thank you, Reverend Wild Bill. Yeah, I know where you were, Wild Bill. Don't pretend like you weren't somewhere else, okay? Uh, NAZ says someone brought their slip and slide over to our house that wrecked the grass. No more slip and slide at our house. NAZ, that happened. Yeah, we would never have one in our house, particularly if people put soap on it. And by the way, Wild Bill, I was just messing with you. I was just messing with you. Toby McGromey says dangerous toys, waterbed draining filled with air to 75%. <laughs> Little brother on one end, big brother run and jump on the other. My neck still aches thinking about it. Oh my God. Aku Mugen says, I work on cars. Terrible idea. Dangerous toys equals fireworks, three wheel gas operated. I still think creepy crawlers has got to be up there. I mean, that's just a hot plate, man, with shapes in it. Uh, my in law has Julian Z says ATVs. Oh, they're toys for adults, maybe. Uh, people saying hi to each other. Um, we used to have a bottle rocket wars our street with the idiots down the next block. Seems insane now. We used to not only have bottle rocket wars, we would drive around in cars and and like 
in the summer in Indiana, a lot of people would open their windows because it was so hot. And it's not, you know, houses in Indiana are built for cold, not hot. And so people open their windows and we would shoot the bottle rockets. We got really good at aiming. If you roll a window down, it creates that little place in the, you just, we used to have bottle rockets. Oh, I already did that one. Uh, John Ziermite says, you can make pretty good weapons for the old erector sets. I'm glad they were good for something because I got given an erector set one year and I was like, this is the most boring thing in the world. Reverend Wild Bill's saying hi. Uh, four inches on the spikes. Terry Nee says, yep, jarts was four inches long on the tips. Four inches. I don't, I don't remember him being that long. I remember him being a little shorter than that. But Stacey Allen says, wasn't one of Tony Blundetto's son killed by a lawn dart on the Sopranos? I don't think so. Jake Husden says, can I upload your content to my channel? How would you do that? I don't know. I, I don't know what you're talking about, Jake, to be honest with you. Lyndon says, I had a belt buckle derringer. Lawn dart tips were long enough. <laughs> they were just long enough. Hack Rider, a demon, says, can I upload your content to my channel? I don't know why you would do that. Oh, there's a bunch of people doing it. Well, what if I just ban all those people? Would that be, I'll tell you what, I'll put you in timeout so that you know what a ban is like. And then you can think about whether I would like that done while you're... Um, you know, contemplating that. Because I don't know what you're talking about. And I don't know why you want my content on your channel. And I don't know why I would drive traffic to your channel with my content or keep people at your channel with my content or just allow you to house my content on your channel. And I don't even know if such a thing is possible. What up, Bog? Uh, Panhandle's dumb tattoo. Can I? Oh, okay. Well, you can join the club of. You too could join the club of people who. Uh, apparently thought it would be fun to come in and ask the same question. You kooky guys, you, you scamps with your nutty ways. Gosh. Oh, I bet you're fun when you wear ladies hats at parties. Remember while Bill says, I enjoyed my pet rock quiet. Didn't eat much. and was very clean around the house. Okay. Phone lines are open in 972-994-6822, by the way. Have been for some time. Bog saying hi to JC. Uh, forget the name of it. Mattel had this dangerous cooker thing that you put in liquid goop. You could make bugs, flowers. Yeah, that's creepy crawlers. It's just a hot plate with, with, with a mold made of cast iron metal on top of it. Julian Caesar said BB guns. Parent bought me when I was a kid. Not sure what they were thinking. All worked out okay, but it's probably not a good idea unless you live on a farm. We used to have actual, we'd play army. And we'd all put on hockey helmets with the visor. And we'd say, we'd have rules like no more than four pumps, no more than five pumps. We'd pump it up four times. And there was always one guy with like a CO2 cartridge that really couldn't control his that would zap you. You'd wear your thickest jeans. Joker Fist, I was thinking of them, Stacey Allen. Good band. I'm glad you guys like that band. Reverend Wild Bill says, I know you were. I was going to say the supper was too. I don't know what's going on with that. Water rockets were cool. M80s were cool. I wouldn't think those are kids' toys, though. I mean, Roman candle battles. Yeah. Love those water rockets. Uh, we used to have crab apple wars the last week or so. Oh, crab apples stang. Stang. They stang. Moon boots were great for killing your ankle. Terry Nee says a toy was also gasoline and matches. Yes. And a mailbox. Uh, I had some friends, not me, of course, that used to drive around and put a whole brick of ladyfinger firecrackers in someone's mailbox and drive away. Lyndon 49 says tape up one end of a Roman candle, have battles. Now that's fun. Toby McGroby says I wouldn't take those content questions too seriously. No, I'm not. Uh, Rev, those were good drinking battles. Rev says, can I upload your show to my garbage disposal? I thought that's where you were getting it. Uh, burning dripping models were fun. 
A lot of fire as a kid. As she says, kids don't even play with sticks shaped like guns outside anymore. I know. What good are they? Well, if they did, they'd have to put a red tip on the end or orange tip. I'm telling you what. This Alani New. There you go. This is some pretty good energy drink here, man. Zero sugar. I am uh, endorsing it. I'm giving it my highest recommendation. I got 15 minutes left. Uh, phone lines are open. Uh, it's Wednesday. Pine cone grenades. Well, if you lived on a farm like I did, there was always the... Uh, you know, it's a firecracker and the cow pie, and you get an unsuspecting person to walk near the cow pie while the firecracker was about to explode. Uh, Akumug, says, that's what we did on the farm back in Indiana for thrills. Uh, Akumugan says, I knew of a guy in the 80s in New York who would put M80s in a pile of horse droppings. Good fun unless you're a tourist, yeah. Yeah, if the cow had just been there, very recently been there, you all you needed was a lady finger to cover about a 10-yard square area. Um, whoops. Bog says, hope to see you on Discord again sometime, Tom. Well, well, Bog, there's a certain person on there that saw fit to um, silence me because... He likes to argue with people, but when he starts to get the bad end of the argument where somebody's lighting him up real good, then he, he turns your microphone and everything else off. So with that in mind, I left that Discord and said, you just go ahead there and you be the king of lack of criticism. So until that person's not there no more, I ain't coming back to that Discord. No, oh, it's okay when when he's doing his stuff, but somebody else gives it back to him. Oh no. So no, I don't think I'll be back there until uh that person resolves their situation, which I understand might happen uh, naturally. <laughs> uh John Ziermeyer says good old walnut fights in our backyard. Yeah, walnut fights. Baseball open today in South Korea. All right. SG says he talks about people from Kentucky as if they are unsophisticated. <laughs> well, uh, we have Japanese walnuts. They had sharp spines on their cover. He was, uh, won't let him do it again. Yeah, I, I've heard that one. Spot. No, that guy, he's, I've already, he's had too many chances with me. Uh, you guys might want to make excuses for him, but I'm not going to anymore. He's been a, a jerk way too many times to me. And you like him. You've known him a while. I, I'm not fond of him. And uh, therefore, no, I find people of low intellect and uh, low integrity like that. No, I'm not going to trust them to go back. Um, he should have thought about that before he started doing what he was doing, but. Wants everybody to take his nonsense, but can't handle it back. What's the word for that? I'm sure the chat will come up with some, but I appreciate that, Jared. Perhaps there's another Discord I can meet you all in. Uh, Terry Nee says, my wife must be in that Discord. <laughs> oh, Terry, you're <laughs> you make my day so dead. Uh, Julian Zizer says, how about those bikes with the car style gear shift in the top tube, which would hit. Yeah. Kids in the groin when they crashed. And so I do remember that shifter in the middle, uh, bike. I forget what it was called. It was supposed to be super awesome. It wasn't the apple crate or the cherry picker. Cause if you had an apple crate or a cherry picker that those were the two coolest bikes at the time. Anyway. Those toys made us what we are. Diane O'Brien, you are so right. 972-994-6822, uh, by the way. And oh, by the way, you can go to the TomGullyShow.com. There you can go to our merch store. You can get stuff like Terry Knee's Clock. Um, or you can go to uh, PayPal.me slash TomGullyShow and 
Let us know we're doing something right here, I guess. Um, or you can go to our Patreon. It's only $3 a month. There's a whole bunch of stuff there. I'm way too scared to put on uh, regular internet. Aku Mugen says, looking forward to Tom covering the Darwin Awards. Yes, the Darwin Awards. Those are always good. If I do one on the Darwin Awards, I should probably just do one big bulldog episode with the best of. I, I can pick my best of all time Darwin Award. Uh, Julian Zeezer says, we used to soak Nerf footballs in water, then tell someone to catch. When they try to catch it, it would weigh several times what they were expecting. And, well, especially if they were catching it like this, it would all that water would go spraying. Although I will say this. Nothing changed front or backyard touch football as much as the advent of the Nerf. Man, with a Nerf, you could zip it in there and go along like you never could with a regular football, ever. Uh, Schwing Sting Ray Apple Crate and Shifter on the crossbar. Schwinn, sorry, Sting Ray Apple Crate had a shifter. So I guess so did the uh, Cherry Picker. Stinger front end. I got to interpret Bob's typing. I mean, uh, Bill's typing. Toby McGrover's edition out can't take it. Yep, 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 hypocrite. Tugs on t shirt design with bent finger. Hypocrisy police. I mean, Springer front end. Yeah, they had the spring shocks on the front end. I mean, if you had an apple crate or a cherry picker, man, that was some high-end bicycle. And it looked cool. They looked cool, too. Uh, <laughs> soaked. Yeah, you could really drench somebody with a wet. And did you ever leave your Nerf out in the snow and it got wet and hard? Ugh. Or what about that one Nerf the kid had that his dog chewed it, but you still played with it once in a while if nobody else had a better one and it had big hunks of dog bite out of it? Uh, I can still hear and taste that red kickball. What if you were playing dodgeball with it and got nailed in the head? Lyndon says, Tom, potato guns were deadly. They could be. Anything could be deadly, you know. It's, uh, I mean, I it was on the list, but I didn't mention it, and that was slingshots. Because I consider a slingshot not so much a toy as a weapon, you know. I mean, of course a slingshot's going to hurt somebody. The apple crate. Apple green color was silver accents. Yeah, and then the cherry picker was the red one. I think there was a third one, too. Was there a grape? Or, uh, there was a third color in that whole thing. Say goodnight, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. Potato guns, goodbye windshield. The Reverend says, what did we learn tonight? We learned... Don't blow the whole show in the opening of the show. We we haven't even gotten to the turn. We haven't even got off the dirt road yet. And somebody's already put out five toys, including my favorite one that most people didn't know about. We learned that. We learned that uh, there's some really awesome people that watch this show and they're in the room right now. And maybe they were here earlier too. And that's really cool. We learned that a whole bunch of people came in and were being silly. And so I put them in a timeout and I haven't heard from them since. Um, then ban them. Let's put them in timeout. People get really upset when they can't have carte blanche to do what they want with the show that you work to create. Kooky. Um, we learned a lot about uh, a, how destructive toys can be, and B, how warped a lot of people in this room, including me, are that are watching the program right now <laughs> in terms of uh, using toys for their unintended destructive purposes. 
Mm, yes, she said, I used to take my slingshot squirrel hunting with my dad. Exactly. Exact slingshots were no joke. Uh, the wolf has arrived. You got to love the wolf. Toby McGrovey says, I still have no idea that uranium science kit existed. Well, somebody tried to spill the beans on that. That was my big reveal. But yes, the atomic laboratory kit actually had not just one, not just two, not just three, but four different kinds of uranium in it. Um, Slingshot was soon confiscated in our house. My sons were deadly weapons on their own, says Diana. Well, if you got boys, they'll figure out how to make a box of uh, cotton balls into something deadly. Uh, the wolf liked blowing things up. <laughs> Akumugan says, you are mostly free to say what you want. Just be prepared to face the consequences. Yeah. Or just don't, don't, don't get it with a, a group of equally lowbrow, not that bright people and do the same inconsequential thing. It's just, you know, I'm not here for your bit. If your bit's funny, I keep saying it all the time. They just don't take it to heart. It's got to be interesting, entertaining, or uh, informative. You don't have to be all three. You just got to be one. I uh, had a mineral kit. Uh, pieces of raw asbestos. It's actually very interesting, like fibrous liquid weight rock. Uh, chocolate is surprisingly good at containing radiation like lead. Well, I did not know that. All I need is a box of matches, says Paz. <laughs> Reverend Wild Bill says, we made napalm growing up in our house. Well, it's, what is that? It's just petroleum jelly and gasoline, right? Something like that, I'm pretty sure. The wolf says, are you saying pervitine was radioactive? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to announce right now, tomorrow's show is going to be about pervitine. So you guys will finally all know what, well, some of you already know, but what the wolf and I are talking about when we talk about pervitine, because some of you may consider it a, just by the name, a precursor to Viagra. It's not. Uh, Julian Zizer says, model rockets. Do kids still build and shoot those? You bet they do. It, it's actually highly competitive now. There's, there's a lot more to it now, because, you know, now they can put cameras on them, and they've got GPS tracking and everything else. So there's, there's, uh, targeting they do it you know who's the most accurate who's can go the highest they do all sorts of stuff now linden says early 60s in metal shop we can make flare guns you could get black powder and links of fuses in the mail <laughs> one heck of a zip gun uh is it oval teen for, for no it is not those were some pervy teen no that's not what it is Oh, that, that may be one unintended side effect, but the German army used it. It was actually an over-the-counter. It's over-the-counter in Germany. And that's going to freak you out when I tell you what it's about. Tomorrow night on the Tom Gully Show. Unless uh, Dabble Jew gets in here and you know, tells everybody about it in advance. Oh, by the way, all I did was put him in timeout and ban him. I think that's fair because when I told him not to do it, he got all <laughs> not the time to get all. <laughs> Come on, man. We're just trying to do a nice show and I don't like to moderate the chat. I really don't. Uh, incidentally, I'm, I'm closing the phone lines. I, for, why I even have the phone lines? I don't even know anymore. Uh, it just increases the production value of the show. It's much better to have somebody say something to me in audio than it is. But I've long since abandoned any notion of people that watch the show actually wanting to help the show. So a few of you, but not that many. Uh, Jared says, same gully time, same gully channel. You betcha. You betcha. Spoiler proved yeah, funny. I'll laugh at that later. Um, 
Jared is um, is uh, is he going to have a live show on Sunday? What did they want to accomplish? They didn't want to. They, they you know, they're just sad people. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me for no reason. And I'm just a jerk. Hmm. Part of internet culture, you just have to, you know, asking if they can. Host content. Ooh, how devastating. Yeah. Uh, Dan O'Brien says, I could certainly tell some stories about my boys when kids can laugh about them now. I didn't realize how stressful it could be, but hilarious at the same time. Ah, that's true. I remember there are warnings on ancient Chinese recipes about mixing certain foods together. They could be explosive <laughs> in China. Can't wait to donate to your show. Well, that makes two of us, Lyndon. Um Thank you. He may have his show still kind of in limbo. I'll keep you posted if I hear anything. Well, no, I'm I'm uh, uh, monitoring H2BH clips, so or that channel. So I, if I I guess he'll announce it there. And I'm also sub- subscribed to Channel Two. You know, you guys think I don't care? I do. I care. Uh, people saying hi to each other. We're out of time here. We're out of time. Although I don't know why I shouldn't just go another extra half hour, but I won't. Um, Because I'm real tired, and this has not been the most fun day ever. And uh, and I'm tired. Let me see if I got anything here in my message. What's this? New notifications from... Uh, sounds like your boys were awesome, Diana. It does. Sounds like they were real live kids, you know, like the kind you see in the movies. I got, I got to tell you, I, I got to get rid of some of my Twitter, my Twitter people. I get notifications from people that I was like, ugh. I don't think I need 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 to see that anymore. Oh, it's Brett. It's Brett here. Brett's here. Brett's here to draw more attention to himself. Brett, I'm trying so hard not to just ban you from my room, and you're just not making it real easy. You're just not making it real easy. More gully, says Ronald Bateman. One of my favorite subjects, Bill, spontaneous combustion. We did a show on spontaneous human combustion already. That's one way of putting it, Kim. But I understand if you're tired. This week has been a drain. So it's just been today. Um, China's been faking food of late. Eggs, rice, lamb, beer. I just wish they'd get their uh, thing. Please don't ban me. Why? You, you never hear. You don't donate. You don't contribute. Why would you care? I don't understand. Why do we all have to um, endure you? Is what I've been asking myself. You don't take part in the discussion. Everything's got to be about you. Uh, you don't buy any merch. You don't donate. You're not entertaining, interesting, or informative. And it's just, Brett. You you announce yourself when you get into the room. You just uh, I don't know that they have enough money, Brett, that you can donate and stay in there. Just 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 hang out. Just we'll tolerate you. This show doesn't have much longer to last. Are super chats part of monetization? Yes. Super chats and memberships, but, but mostly super chat. I don't even know if I'll do memberships. I don't I don't know. I haven't decided that part. But nothing better than Chinese plastic rice. It's just people are more comfortable uh, donating by super chats. And super chats, it just makes a little more sense. You know, people can get two bucks. Hey, you know, you go to PayPal, you almost feel like, gosh, I should buy a lamp. It's PayPal doesn't seem like a five dollar, ten dollar, whatever. Yeah. But it can be. 
right now. No, I'm kidding. But it can be for you and your family right now. Imagine the feelings of civic pride and philanthropy that you'll experience by donating to the Tom Gully Show. Wouldn't you like me to have a better koozie than this awful one I got at my employer? Wouldn't you like me to be buying better than store brand Cherry Cola Zero? Whoops. Cherry Cola. Would, would, doesn't it? Aren't you? Don't you feel sad that? No, I'm kidding. I choose to do that. Ago said, Kim, it's really bad over here. If Tom's interested, I can send him. A few links. Wow. I didn't realize that. Yeah, send them to me on uh, the Tom Gully Show Facebook page. Um, Toby McGroby, if your money is a little tight, you can always watch archives and marathon up to the hours watched. Helps me feel better at least. No, that's okay. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to uh, make this a going concern so that I can stop doing certain other things. See? I have no doubt that will happen. I would just like it to happen sooner than later. Aye, aye, Captain. Welcome to the future that is Aku. <laughs> that sounds like a line from a movie. Uh, everyone needs a tight koozie, says Ronald Bateman. Well, I, I, I too have a problem. They need to come up because I don't, Huggy I don't like is not a great name for these. Koozie, just that doesn't sound good, man. It just doesn't sound good. I don't know what else they call them, but they need to, they long ago should have come up with a better name for these. Samurai Jack. I love Samurai Jack. Watch this to get Tom Hours. Samurai Jack. I actually have some Samurai Jack here on DVD. You know, I worked for the Cartoon Network. I think I got an update for you here. Hold on. Hold on, kids. And these updates kind of suck because it takes YouTube a long time to up. They only do it once a day, and it takes them forever. Like, like I just today if it's even changed, we'll be getting yesterday's numbers on, um, you know, my viewing hours. Let's see what we got here. And I'll shut this down. I am really super tired. I got to figure out if I'm even eating dinner tonight. I'm going to go to bed. I think I'm just going to go to bed. Um, Oh, mother, my neck, it hurts. Oh, um, okay. Here's today's update, ladies and gentlemen. As of right now, and this won't update until tomorrow. 2,600. But Tom, we were at 2,600 something a day or two ago. Uh, hey, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. 2,698. That means it's almost a certainty that we will pass 2,700 hours tomorrow, which means we're 90% of the way there. So let me look at something else here. Mother. Okay, I can see something else. So we are now. Well, that number went down. I don't like it. Our numbers have been going up and up and up, but we have not increased in subscribers at all. So we just keep increasing in number of people that aren't subscribers that watch. So some of you freeloaders, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's not where I got my name. I knew them as Cozies. Now, Cozy, I like better, but I think there's also those little hand and foot warmers called Cozies. 
Also, there's isn't there a cozy that's like a like something you know? It's like a, a beef boat cozy. There's certain like things that you warm up that it's a cloth anyway. Foolish Samurai War. Blog says, Samurai Jack was great. Aku is indefinitely quotable. Love that cartoon. Uh, it's number two. Uh, Johnny Bravo is my favorite, but but uh, Samurai Jack is number two. Had a great soundtrack. I've got the first two seasons on DVD because I worked at Cartoon Network. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Actually, I know I mentioned it, but you just can't mention it enough when you worked at Cartoon Network. Aku Mugen says, I apologize in advance if I seem to be bombarded you with contents links tom don't don't worry about that do you need three thousand hours i do i need three thousand hours first day of spring here today tom winter's coming again next week so inspiring yeah i hear you it was hotter three weeks ago here than it is now tea cozy exactly toby that's what i'm talking about i just need the warmer the warmer I remember when you went with Mumbles to go get a warmer because he had a warmer and I think you wanted a warmer. You may have previously had a warmer, but didn't we go to ball stores or somewhere and you got another warmer space goes coast to coast. Uh, okay. The iPad will be playing the NYE special all week. Yeah. SG fanboy. I just don't deserve fans like you and the rest of the people here, followers, viewers. Let's just call you viewers. Let's not turn this into a hero worship thing. Uh, Cowboy Bebop is a great watch. Music is amazing, says Aku Mugen. Aku Mugen. You know, the bad news is I'm completely out of Alani New Energy Drink. Uh, this this uh, flavor that I really like is called breezeberry. Naturally flavored. Zero calories. Well, no, not zero, zero calories. Zero sugar. 15 calories. How do you get calories with no sugar? Probably ain't good for you. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Brad Harif like the warmer. Well, I know who really liked the warmer. And I also know who told us all that, that it wasn't really a warmer unless the lining of it had pictures of pheasants, illustrations of pheasants. Courage the Cowardly Dog was very good. Joker says, did you hang out with Aqua Teen Hunger Force at Cartoon Network? I did not. I did not. I, I was in charge of the network's communication. I I didn't work on any of the cartoons. Now, I got some things done that were done by the cartoonists for the network, but I, it's a long story. <clears throat> Same. I don't lay down and snuggle my Yorkie like a creep until I hear the harmonica. In the <laughs> you guys are hilarious. All right. I got to get out of here. I gots to go. Like the Reverend Al Green, I got to get up on out of here. Uh, <laughs> It's been a wonderful show. You guys have been great. I've been cranky and uh, bad mood. And normally don't let that bother me when I'm doing a show, but right out of the gate, somebody chose to just, you know, if it was their first time, fine. If it was their second time, fine. But when you get into the third and the fourth time, just, you know, and it's not that great of a day anyway when <laughs> I don't want to get into it. I got to think about it. Oh, uh, that's, I appreciate that. Jared, uh, let's see, I already did that one. Uh, if you want a cartoon that's perched stereotype of Canadians, watch Chili Beach. I will. Peace, says Reverend Mobile. And I will say peace to all of you. And I will also say, till next time, not real fond of Larry Dobbins. I know that's not his real name, so I can say that. And till next time, and when I say not real fond, I mean, you know, uh, 
Till next time, we'll see you next time.